Hey Jekka here! In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Kital. I saw ito sa mga website na ginagamit ko to design my digital products and I will share with you ano yung reasons kung bakit gustong gusto ko tong ginagamit. Number one reason kung bakit gustong gusto kong ginagamit itong Kital is because of the available templates. Dito sa Kital, makikita ninyo na marami kayong pagpipilian na categories like t-shirts, logos, hoodies and sweatshirts and a lot more. Explore lang ninyo kung ano yung mga products na gusto ninyo yung gawin. Let's say for instance for t-shirts, when you click on that you will see a lot of templates na pwede na natin gamitin when we want to design our t-shirt. So aside from that you can also search for a certain keyword, specific keyword and then magpa-pop up na dito yung mga templates na available related dun sa keywords na tinipe natin. So if you want to use a certain template, i-click nyo lang yan and then click use this design and it will take you to the canvas. So, ganito na yung tura ng canvas. So, makikita ninyo dito sa left, ito yung mga tools na pwede natin gamitin to edit our design and even on the right side. Ngayon, if you want to add an artboard, ang tawag natin dito sa canvas na nakikita natin is an artboard. So, kung sa ibang design websites, isang size lang ng artboard ang pwede natin gawin or canvas ang pwede natin gawin, dito sa kitel, pwede tayong mag-add pa ng isa. So, we can just duplicate this one. So, makikita ninyo dito, dalawa na yung artboard niya or pwede naman tayong mag-drawing ng artboard kahit magkaiba yung sizes dun sa previous na artboard na ginawa natin. So, for now, let's redesign itong template na pinili natin. Now, what we want to do is to redesign itong template na napili natin. So, we would like to change the color and the text as well as the elements. So, ang gagawin muna natin is to delete the elements na gusto nating tanggalin dito sa design na to. So, I would like to remove itong hat na to. Ang gagawin lang natin is i-ungroup muna natin yung design and then just click delete button on your keyboard to delete an element or a text. And then, let's go to elements. Mamili tayo dito ng element na gusto natin ipalit dun sa hat kanina. In this example, I would like to add a coffee, a cup, and yun yung ipapalit ko dito. So, mamili lang kayo dito sa elements ng gusto ninyong ilagay. So, example, eto. So, click on that. And then, as you can see, on the right side, may nag-pop up na properties. So, we can change the color of these elements according to your preference or dun sa design. Or dun sa colors na fit naman dun sa design natin. So, I would like to change the color. Click nyo lang ito. And then, mamili lang kayo dito ng kulay na gusto nyo nyong ipalit. So, now, since we're done changing the colors, we can now arrange the elements na natira dito. And there you go. If just in case merong elements dito na gusto ninyong ilagay sa taas or sa ibabaw, i-right click nyo lang yon and then you can put it forward or dun sa pinakalikod. So in this case, gusto ko siyang mapunta dun sa pinakaibabaw. So clinic lang natin yon So something like this. Or dito sa lower right, meron tayong layers na tinatawag. So just click on that and as you can see dito, makikita na ninyo yung mga elements or yung layers ng ating design. So you can rearrange this one just by dragging the layers according dun sa position na gusto ninyo. Now it's time to change the text. So ang gagawin lang ninyo just double click this one and then i-type nyo lang yung text na gusto ninyong ipalit. So, tinipe ko dito is coffee lover pero nagkulang yung space. So, ang gagawin nyo lang is just go to the right corner and find the transformation. So, i-edit lang natin yung transformation and then i-drag nyo lang itong dot dito para lumabas lahat yung text na tinipe natin. Pero ayaw naman natin na ganito yung design. So, we are going to change the transformation into circle. So, papalitan lang natin yung direction ng transformation just by clicking this one. And now, we can reposition the text. And then, we'll also do that dun sa taas. Since circle nga yung transformation na pinili natin, we are just going to click on that. And there you go. We have just redesigned itong template na pinili natin. Now, just in case the element that you want is not available on Kittel, meron silang tinatawag na Kittel AI. So, what I like about this is you just have to type a prompt or description even just 
a short description and then you choose the aspect ratio and then ito na yung pinaka gusto ko sa lahat pwede kayong mamili ng image style that you want click nyo lang yan and then pwede kayong mamili if you want to generate an image na ang image style is photography digital art anime etc but since ito nga yung ginagawa natin is a t-shirt design I just want to use a clip art or vector style so pwede kayong mamili ng style na gusto nyo dito let's say for instance I would like to create an emblem style ng a cup of coffee and then we're just going to generate the image and ito na yung nagawa natin so kung nakagawa na tayo ng vector image natin ng coffee so you can change the color if you want kapag image naman yung na-generate natin or clip art let's say this one pwede nating i-edit itong image na to, pwede nating tanggalin yung background niya. So, meron na tayong AI background remover na available dito sa Kittel. And if you want to vectorize itong image na to, you can actually vectorize this one. And then, kung gusto ninyong i-enhance yung image, you can also use the AI image upscaler. Let's say, we want to vectorize this one and then gusto natin ng 3, 2 to 3 na colors for this image. Ay, piliin lang natin yung number of colors na gusto nating um, gamitin for this specific na clip art. And from there, we can already change the color based on the design na ginagawa natin. So, as easy as that. So, meron na tayong nagawa na image gawa gamit itong Kital AI Generator. Kung mapapansin ninyo dito sa design, meron siyang texture. And then, you can also change the texture of your design. So, you just have to click this one, itong canvas, and then you will see itong texture na to. If you want to release the texture, ito yung texture na ginamit natin for this specific design. Or, if you want to change the texture, Texture, you just go here sa textures and then mamili lang kayo maraming available na textures dito. But for me, itong texture na to is just okay. Now, kung ayaw ninyong lagyan ng texture, again, click on the canvas and then just click delete. And the best part of Kittel is meron na silang mock-up builder. So, dito, hindi na ninyo kailangang pumunta sa ibang website para lang gumawa ng mock-up. Kasi dito sa loob ng Kittel is meron na silang sariling mock-up generator. So, click nyo lang yung mock-up. Dito sa loob ng Kittel website, marami ng mock-ups na available dito. So, hindi na natin kailangan pumunta sa ibang website para lang gumawa ng mock-up. Since we have created a t-shirt design, so, ang gagamitin natin ng mock-up is t-shirt. So, mamili lang kayo ng mock-ups dito. And then, idrag lang natin yung design dun sa placement ng t-shirt. Pwede rin natin siyang lakihan or liitan. So, i-resize nyo lang dun sa size na gusto ninyo. Another feature na maganda sa kanilang mock-up builder is yung pagpalit ng color ng t-shirt. So, you can change the color of the t-shirt. Ayan. So, pwede kang mamili dito or you can use a hex code for the color of the t-shirt. And then, once you're done, you just have to download the mock-up. But if you want to create your own design from scratch, ay pwede naman. So, you just create another project or pwede naman na mag-add kayo ng another artboard dito. So, we're going to just type our text here. Kung gusto ninyong palitan yung font color and then the font style, you just click on the text and then on the right side, mamili na kayo dito ng font style na gusto nyo. May mga available tayo na types of text dito but let's say we want to use something like this and then we just change the color that we want. And then let's go back to the left part dun sa elements, mag-type lang tayo ng elements na gusto natin i-add to our design. You just type a keyword na available or if there's nothing available dito na gusto ninyo, you can go to the illustrations and find an available element for you. But since yung element na napili natin ay hindi pwedeng palitan yung color, kaya ang ginagawa natin ngayon is we are vectorizing the element. After we finish vectorizing, we can now change the color that we want. And then, i-adjust lang natin ng konti yung mga text. And then, I'm just going to add a line. So, kung gusto ninyong i-adjust yung thickness niya, you can just drag this down. And then, for the 
text dito sa up and down, I would like to add a transformation na circle kasi gusto ko lang siyang lagyan ng effect na something like this. So, yeah, just lang ninyo yung, i-rotate lang ninyo yung text. And this one also, we would like to add a transformation circle but it's the other way. So, we're going to click on that and then just fix the position of the text. And there you go, we just have created a design out of scratch. So, kung gusto ninyong mag-sign up for free dito sa Kital, you can check the link in my bio. Or kung gusto ninyong subukan yung kanilang pro and expert plan, you can use this code to get 25% off sa inyong first subscription. So, if you want to know more about Kital, you just comment your questions below and I will try to answer them. So, yun lang!